black metal from Finland. That is the thing here over on Rauta today. This one is called Uhri Lahja with the second album Mustan Mukarin Legiona. Uhri Lahja roughly translates to a uh, sacrificial gift and Mustan Mukarin Legiona something like uh, Legion of the Black Mole or something. I don't know, Bob. Here it is, the second album, released by Wolfspell Records, pardon for the bright light and the reflections, and here it is, very, uh, I don't know why I'm getting Baratrum feeling much of this imagery right here. The first album uh, that was released in 2018 was very, very mediocre black metal release with kind of a... Finnish language messed with Swedish title and also some English and the output was very very mediocre black metal doing a kind of a demo in full length. Now luckily the band has learned a trick or two since that release and this new album is a lot better. However that doesn't mean this is a killer album. Actually in fact in my opinion this is still very much like a band with work in progress. Not so much a demo band anymore, but there are lots of uh, pointers, lots of elements which are still like uh, kind of a B-grade material. Style is melodic, kind of a rawish, keyboard-infused black metal, and here it is. You can pretty much see the uh, track list right here, 34 minutes roughly, give or take. And all these tracks are in Finnish. The band was founded only in a few years ago, after a couple of demos. This is the second album out, and uh, now everything is a little bit better, like said. But still, this is very much like band doing the kind of a first steps. For example, the um, whole uh, production, those production values, that is the sound, how it sounds. It's very much like uh, if, as if the band has been doing that stuff. In their own, um, I don't know, rehearsal place, basement, living room, or whatever, because everything sounds kind of like not exactly weak, but really not that good either. It's not like totally useless or powerless, but very much like so much improvement could be done. This is totally like uh, manageable, totally listenable, but not really something that I would call good. The vocals, then again, in my opinion, while they have zero originality, they sound really nice. There's something kind of a rawish, kind of a powerful and inhuman, which I really like. So, once again, not really original in style, but something that, in my opinion, works very, very nicely. Now, some parts on, on these songs are actually quite enjoyable, whereas some parts are very, very medi mediocre. And as such, this is something that while I consider it as an improvement to, towards the first one, it's still something that, yeah, not quite there. For example, all the synth parts on this album sound, in my opinion, much like those 1990s video games. Like, the idea is right there and kind of a has a cool idea, but because of the whole deal is done with sort of a, hey, let me find these cool sounds in my sound bank. It's like, no. I don't know, maybe it's for some Dungeons and fans who are just like, hey, this is great, don't don't call them bad. But I feel like uh, it's it's still something that needs a lot of improvement. Overall, Uhrilahja is a, uh, is, well, <laughs> or like, more like Mustamokran Legiona is a decent album. And I think Uhrilahja is very much going to a better direction. But still, not for everybody. Check it out if you don't believe me, there are samples online, so you get to hear it for yourself. With these words, take care my friends, and hope you enjoy it. Bye bye.